Hello, and it's artist update number three. Yeah, so I'm a little late. Today is Monday. It should have been done on Friday, but I'll keep trying. So it's been quite an interesting week, quite an interesting week. So last time I showed you this painting and I'm really happy with this. In fact, the more I look at it, I think I'm going to do this one again just like this because it looks great. I love the colours and also the composition. Anyway, I went for a more boring landscape format and did this. I quite like it. I like the sky. I'm getting really good at these, these glowing skies and I love the soft blue mountain. The shadows are nice and um, yeah, the trees are not too bad, but I'd like there to be a bit more red in those trees. Yeah, those shadows look quite good, don't they? But it was a bit different. And then, oh, I did go and do another portrait one. And I think this is good. I love that, that touch of light, purple light there. I think that's great. I used my finger there when the paint was still a little damp and I just wiped across. You have to be careful, but that's what I did. And I think there are some really interesting colours here. A bit, a bit wacky, to be honest, but so what? And I love this shadow and the way it changes colour. So I think this one is, is a winner. And maybe, maybe I've done enough on this particular scene because I forgot I'd done this one. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. And then, um, then I went back to landscape format, but I think this is quite nice. The previous one was better. As you can see in my shadows, I begin quite dark and then I add blue. This is maybe some kind of cobalt turquoise blue. Has a long name, too long. But I think that's that's pretty good. Um, and this this was previous one. This is going in the bin. I hate that. I just hate that. <laughs> that looks horrible. So bye bye. You're going in the bin. It's a nice feeling sometimes to throw things in the bin. And then um, oh, I've got another one here. And this was like a different idea of doing a field and then having the tree in a field and then a smaller tree and I don't I don't think that worked out very well. So this, I was going to bin this, but actually um, I can use the other side. So recycle, that's good. And then, yeah, that led, I think, to doing this one. So this is, we've got that sky again and then we've got these soft mountains and then we've got this field. Now this field is awesome, isn't it? I mean, look at the texture, isn't that beautiful? So it's actually quite easy. The difficult, uh, <laughs> I bet you're thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, really it is. Uh, basically, it's maybe three steps. So the first step is just the color. So that was a kind of amidazolone yellow. Oh, why do they give them these incredibly difficult names? But there you go, it was a yellow. Mixed with cobalt turquoise blue. Let's just call it turquoise or light blue. And I just, I just painted it all. And then I got a liner brush and I made a dark mix so basically a red, a blue, a touch of yellow ochre. And then this is the difficult bit, the timing. If you touch this wet paint too soon, it will just explode out. And if you're too late, then you're not going to get the lovely soft edges. And then the final thing I did after doing that, so I began about here where you've got the big dark areas because it's going to expand more where you so like when I first do it 
that's going to be when the paint is wettest. So it's going to expand the most at that point. And so this is the best area because this is where the shadow areas are biggest. Hope that makes sense. And then I gradually move over here where the shadow areas are very small and hopefully the paint's drying and so it's not going to spread out so quickly. And then the final step was just some splatter with the same green colour, just splatter, splatter, splatter. Oh, and I used a touch of titanium white, but I think that's beautiful. So this is a place called Akitsuki and it's in Fukuoka Prefecture. And I went there maybe in 2020 and I had a good time. It was with my family and I just love that, that green colour. Yeah, so um, very happy with that. And I might turn that into a watercolour lesson because it's actually a fairly simple painting to do. And then another thing I did was um, for my normal lesson with my students was uh, this painting. So um, this is a place called, uh, well, I'm on the island of Kyushu in Japan. It's at the bottom, southern part. And between Kyushu and the mainland, there's this strait. And I'm not sure if it's called Kamon, Kamon. I forgot, I'm sorry. But anyway, it's an amazing place, a really amazing place. And when I uh, went there, it was like dark, but there was light sparkling on the sea. In fact, much better than this, much, much better. But anyway, I really like that contrast of very, very dark blue and then this brilliant white shimmer across the sea. It was, it was amazing. But anyway, the difficult thing with this painting was getting it really dark but and also but also having this light area here but i think i managed to do it i think this looks great and this looks great i think this looks too chunky to be honest so i'm going to redo that and make it a bit thinner or maybe not even have it i'm not sure i'm not sure it really helps Maybe it's too much. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. It, it'd be really nice to know what other people think. Uh, I live too much inside my own head, so it's good to know what other people think. But I'm, I'm really happy with that. And, uh, oh, I can show you my previous sketches for this. So I did these a couple of years ago. So this is maybe the first one. And I think that looks quite nice. I really like that um, boat and you can see this has a thinner, thinner stick, whatever, pole, yeah. And then here's another one and this is a more finished one, but it's, it's not, it's not got the energy, has it, of the previous one. It's just not got the energy. So that happens sometimes, you know, when you're trying to do a nice painting, that's why if watercolour is your hobby, don't try to do a nice painting, just have fun, because you'll end up doing a more exciting painting. In, in my opinion, it's just an opinion, but I think it's based on, yeah, my experiences. So I suppose it, that, that gives it some, some uh, validity. Validity, is that, is that an okay word? Is that too high level? <laughs> for YouTube <laughs> okay so anyway uh, that's all the painting so uh, this week I'm going to do a few more of this um, and I'm also maybe going to do um, that um, I'll show you yeah 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 so I'm going to maybe do one more of them and I'm going to do a crazy tree a psychedelic tree so um, that's really like a pink or purple colour. Have some fun. And uh, as for personal things, I'm still reading my book about Gogam. I'd love to explain what I've read, but it's just too convoluted. Like, um, but there are some interesting things, but it would just become too long. It, it would become a ramble, but 
it's basically his his mum was looked after by this rich man and she was probably his mistress but what I found interesting about that because we always because I guess that's patriarchy isn't it really I don't know probably happens in matriarchy as well right um, but what I find interesting about that is the woman died but she had two children so a boy and a girl the boy is Gogan yeah uh, and the girl yeah um, his sister but this man looks after both of them and he gets Gogan a good job in something like um, some kind of banking job as a liquidator I've got, I can't understand it basically uh, but some kind of job like that and he also sends the girl to some school to get skills and education uh, and the same school as as his very own daughter so it's just so kind isn't it we don't always hear stories like that and just just I like that that was so kind and I don't think it was easy for him to help Gogan because I think Gogan's like well I, I I can't really say what he's like he's a bit of a there's facets to him and it's difficult to get them to match they don't match like in some ways he's a drifter he's difficult he's a bit rough um, he's not easy to get along with so this man who's helping him is basically uh, a really good person because it would have been easier just to forget about him I think but anyway there you go but the other thing about Gogan that I find interesting is despite this he's like quite a he's a short man but he's quite a tough person and he's quite a powerful character but after his job he doesn't go off to the bar or go to the clubs or whatever he goes to a quiet cafe and eats a meal by himself and at the moment he's just playing with sketching and I think he's just beginning to get into painting just beginning so it's interesting anyway so that's Gogan the other thing is I've been doing sprouting so I try to sprout alfalfa 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 I don't know how you pronounce it but anyway it's not going very well it, it it's not looking good but anyway I also try broccoli sprouts and that's working out really well they're really getting bushy and green so I'm having fun with that and I I also started my own composting and now I'm collecting all the food scraps and putting it in the compost heap because my my plan is 10 years later I'm going to be living in the Japanese countryside probably on my own <laughs> I don't I don't think my wife's so interested in living in remote places she wants to be near the shops but we can commute okay so maybe that will work but anyway I want to be living in the countryside growing my own vegetables and enjoying nature but recently I did think what about the loneliness could be really lonely right but I'm still going to do it and um, I'm hoping to buy like a hill or a mountain maybe not a mountain maybe a hill and grow trees yeah which one day I will sell <laughs> so those are my crazy thoughts and obviously I'll be living in the countryside and painting and hopefully I, I will be seeing beautiful scenery there and being able to paint that but that's my dream I just thought I'd share it with you and so I'm learning how to grow vegetables and things like that so this is the artist update number three and hopefully there'll be artist update number four next week so bye for now oh and I did make a video and uh, it shows all the paintings I did in 2020 and I added music that is uplifting and peaceful one hour of uplifting and peaceful music so if you would like to listen to that and watch that whatever then it's should be here should be here have I got the po positioning right let's hope so so it should be here 
So that's all. I hope you have a wonderful week. And if you are an artist, I hope the art is going very, very well. So bye for now. Bye.